Hi, this is Roland from WindowsPerformance.com. Today I'm going to show you how you can get performance increase on Windows Vista by adjusting the virtual memory settings. To do this you need at least two hard drives. Uh, if you've got just one hard drive it's not going to work, uh, you need two. Um, I'm going to show you how to go ahead and, and find the settings that you need to change. Uh, so on Vista, let's make a start. So first thing I'm going to do is I click the start icon there and then I want to go to computer I'm going to right click on computer I'm going to bring up properties okay and the first thing I'm going to do is to, to make a note of the amount of RAM that I've got in my computer so this is the amount of, of memory that I've got I'll explain why this is important in, in a second but in my system I've got six gigabytes uh, if you're running 32-bit operating system, the 32-bit version of Vista, you, you might have a maximum of 4 gigabytes there. Uh, but just make a, men a mental note of that, because that's going to be important in a second. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here, I'm going to click on the advanced system settings, and this window pops up. Now the tab that I want is this advanced setting here and what I'm interested in is looking in this section here, it says performance so I'll go ahead and click settings I want the advanced tab on this one and I'm going to leave all this stuff as it is, those are the default settings um, I'm interested here in virtual memory so I'm going to go ahead and click change on this now mine's already set up but if you guys are coming in for the first time what you'll notice is that this checkbox is, is checked. What you want to do is you want to disable this, so I can say uncheck that, uh, and on the C drive what you want to do is you want to change this so it's a custom size and these set, these settings work, work really well so you want to go for an initial size of 500 megabytes and a maximum size of 500 megabytes uh, don't go ahead and select this option here which says no paging file on the C drive um, you need a, a small amount of paging file so your, your Windows, if it, if it crashes, can write the system dump file um, so you just need a very small amount of um, paging file there then on your next drive it might be D for you guys, for me it's, for me it's F um, but I've got I've got other drives as well, so just go ahead and, and, and click on the drive letter that corresponds to your other physical drive. So it might be D drive. For me, I've, I've it just happens I've selected G drive here. So I'm going to click custom size. Now this is where it's important to put the right the right values in here. So remember I had six gigabytes of memory uh, installed on my machine. So the number I want to put on here is 1.5 or one and a half times the amount of physical RAM that I've got. Um, so I've worked this out just very quickly on a calculator and I've, I've multiplied it out and that's one, one and a half times the, the physical RAM that I have. Now what I've done here is I've just put a maximum size uh, of 20 gig. Um, you can actually leave it as, you could copy that and put it into there. I've just given it a, a, an extra bit of breathing room. Um, but these settings work really well. So what I've got now is I've got my virtual memory configured to run on a separate physical drive. Now how does that speed up Windows? Well, when you when you run out of memory, uh, when win Windows runs out of memory, it starts using the disk. Now it's far far better if Windows has got a separate disk that it can use rather than running the same, the same disk as all your programs in your operating system, same, same disk as Windows. If it's running on a, on, a, on a separate disk it's a lot quicker. So now I've done this, all I'm going to do is go ahead and click set and then click OK and then I can come all the way out of this. You might need to reboot um, on this. Um, when I did my settings I didn't uh, but just, just to let you know you might need to reboot and then come up, go ahead and come all the way out of this and that's it done. Um, you've changed your virtual memory settings and you'll get a, a, a performance boost on Windows by doing this. 
So this is a really quick and easy change for, for speeding up Windows. OK guys, well I hope you enjoyed this screencast and I look forward to seeing you on the next screencast from windowsperformance.com.